As a participant in a Teams meeting, it gets very hard to see the presenter's facial expressions or many of the other attendees when content gets shared. Now, Teams has recently introduced a new pop-out option that's going to allow you to have more control over what you see. Teams, like all software and services, is updated regularly. If there's an update to the information in this video, you're going to see a card in the top right corner of the screen. That card contains a link to the video with the latest information. If there's no card, this video made in February 2023 is still current. So let me show you how this works. Of course, your organization may control when you get updates. So if the new method I show you isn't what you're seeing on your screen, you probably just have to wait a bit before your organization allows the latest software to update your computer. So here I am as a participant in a Teams meeting. I know it's a little disconcerting that I've actually got four versions of myself on the screen, but what I'm doing is I want to simulate what would happen when a presenter shares their slides. So let me go to my other computer and it's going to be a presenter that shares its slides. So what happens when the presenter shares their slides, of course, the default in Teams is that the and most of the screen, most of the team's window is taken up by the slide here. And the videos get very small off to the right side. You can also change them to the top if you want. There's a setting for that as well. What you'll notice is up at the top, let me zoom in on it here. Up at the top, there is a new button here called pop out. And when I hold my cursor over, it says pop out content. And what that means is when I click on it, it's going to take the content that's being shared, that set of slides that the, that the presenter is sharing, and it's going to move it into its own window. So notice here I have one, one, one window with the content and one window now with all of the videos back to their large size, which makes it so much easier for me to see everything. So if you have two screens, what you can do is just take the video window and move it over, let's say to the second screen, then you can make your content window larger. And now you have your content on one screen and your videos on a second screen. If you have just the one screen, then what you can do is to resize these windows so they make a little more sense for you. So let's make sure, let's make this one a little smaller, my content window here, I don't need it that big at all. So I'll make that smaller move it up to the corner here. So I can still see my content, but I can also see my videos quite well here, quite large. So another option, if you only have one screen that might help you is in the, the window that has the videos for the presenter. This is the one, this is the person here who's presenting. Go to the more options on their video and say pin for me. And what that does is it makes that particular person's video much larger within the set of videos. Now you can see their facial expressions. When I face the camera here, you can see my facial expressions so much better. And you can even maybe make the video window smaller because you don't need it so large now that you have this person's video so large. And you can always unpin them using the pin down here at the bottom. Zoom in on for that for you. So the little pin icon, I can click on that and it unpins that person's video and just goes back to sort of the normal collection of the different videos. If you want to return back to the normal content and videos all in one window, just go to the content window and close it using the normal red X in the top corner there. And what it'll do is it will now move it back into your main Teams window. And you'll notice here because the width is not very wide, it's moved my videos up to the top. Now, when you attend a Teams meeting, you know how to use the pop-out content feature to get the most out of the presentation. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button so others who present in Teams meetings and attend Teams meetings will find this video. Subscribe to the channel so you get notified about new videos I post. Thanks for watching.